Staffy have dedicated the last 13 years of their lives to the conservation and welfare of the rare Skyrian horse. They currently provide a safe, loving home for 34 of these clever, playful and curious little ponies and have established rich and diverse genetics within their breeding herd. They face new challenges every day, from dealing with the variable climate, which includes flash floods and snow, to scorching sun, to unloading a 450 bale hay delivery at midnight. But their commitment to the ponies stands firm, and they also find the project offers many life-enriching experiences to the volunteers who support them. good friends and build strong connections with other young people in a similar place in life, the type of connections that stay forever. What I learned from the farm is what working in a community really means. Working in a team. I worked in so many different teams. I learned so much about me and my relation to others, animals and humans. It left me speechless sometimes how much they would give to others even if they haven't got much themselves. I absolutely love it and actually I feel quite homesick when I'm not there. Farm is important to me because it has taught me to appreciate the very basic things in life. Living that basic life like um, on the farm uh, made me think about what you really need um, it made me want to live a life of, um, with more dedication and passion, less noise, less distraction. I also started to then write every day with this discipline that I'd not known before the farm. And if I'm being really honest, I've not known it since the farm. Although I now look back on that whenever I'm struggling with my writing. I learned so much things that I had to work hard every day in a farm to make it work in climate conditions, sometimes that can be hard. I was able there to feel, uh, to be myself and uh, to feel uh, complete as a person, as a woman, strong but also sensitive. You learn about your strengths, your weaknesses, what you like when you're out of your comfort zone. My place where I get important is by studying oncology. It's so easy to get lost in this world where everything comes and goes, but coming back to the project always gets me really grounded and makes me think of the important things in life. And you're allowed to be authentic, to be, uh, yeah, with the good and the bad. I came here because uh, I was having some anxiety issues back at home and uh, this place is really, really helping. When I was at the farm, I really learned that I was not there to help other people. I was there because it looks good to do volunteering. So I had like a really good talk with Amanda and it really changed my perspective. Uh, Amanda showed me that it's the relationship that comes first when you're working with horses. You can study horse psychology and training your whole life. Um, but if you don't nurture a relationship with the horse, it's not going to trust you. What I saw with Amanda and her horses is a genuinely deep connection. The kindness and empathy she shows towards her horses is reciprocated, which makes them a lot more willing partners in any kind of training or playing you want to do with them. If you would like to support us, please donate via our Just Giving page. Or to find out more, visit our Facebook page, Friends of the Skyrian Horse. I really, really wish that my son will have the opportunity to see this, this Skyrians one day. I would really, really wish that for him. <laughs>